Hello, this is Lisa with Quilting Block of the Month Facebook group, and this block here is called the Triple Irish Chain. It is a 12 and a half inch unfinished block, finishing at 12 inches. Yes, these are a lot of little tiny pieces. What you're going to need is your background color. You're going to need four pieces of two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then you're going to need, in the 1 and 5 8 inch piece, you are going to need 33 of the white. Of the lighter blue, or the lighter color that you're going to use, you're going to need 28 of the 1 and 5 8 inch pieces. And then in the darker color, in this case the dark blue, in the 1 and 5 8 inch piece, you're going to need 36 pieces. It is basically in laying it out and then putting it all together. If these pieces are way too small for you, you can substitute them. And instead of doing the one and five eighths, in eighths inch pieces, you can do two and a quarter inch squares. And in your white piece, you would need 17. In the light blue, you would need 12. And in the dark blue, you would need 20. You are basically, it would assemble, it would not have this outer section of the blocks. So it would equal, let's see, put it all in there together. It's basically this part of your block. Um, and so, but they're bigger pieces so they'd be easier to put together. Your seam allowance is going to need to be very accurate because if it's not, your block is not going to fit together right or it's not going to be the right size because one and five eighths inch pieces are very small so it does take a lot so first thing to do let's just lay this all out so we are going to have on our ends here let's see these pieces here Okay, basically putting this together, we're going to create, put section it into different sections. So we've got this corner piece here that is four blocks by four blocks, and that is identical on all four of your corners. You're just rotating it around. So we'll create four of those. Then this section here between the two of these seven pieces, you have four of those as well, and you're just rotating them. And then in the middle, We've got a nine patch square here. Okay, so we're going to create four of this piece. This piece goes in the center on all four edges. So you've got your two and three quarters by three and three quarters inch white square. And then you've got of your one and five eighths, you got one white with two light blues on the outside of your lighter color the lighter color in the middle, and then two of the darker colors on the outside. So you're basically going to sew these into groups of two here first thing so once you sew them together they are going to look like this now you need to make sure that you're pressing your seams so that they will nest push to the outside to one direction and the middle one to the center because um, what you're going to do is you're going to fold these over and you are going to nest them together and then you're going to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance down this side, open it up, fold this one over and nest, and do the same thing, a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Once you press it, you are gonna have it looking like this. So at this point you need to stop. With little pieces of fabric, it's always very important to make sure that everything squares up. So what you're gonna need to do is get your ruler. This piece, white piece is two and three quarters by three and three quarters, so your piece of six pieces here needs to be the same thing. So just get your ruler out, it's two and three quarters, it's three and three quarters. If it's not that size, you need to trim it. Make sure you don't just trim off of one side. Make sure that you trim off of both sides evenly and off the top and bottom evenly just to keep everything the same size. Then you're going to take your piece, you're going to fold your white piece over, 
and you're going to stitch, making sure your white pieces match, and stitch a quarter of an se inch seam allowance, and then press it open. Once you press it open, this is going to be what your piece looks like. You're going to want four of these, because basically, as you go around the quilt, we're just going to rotate the block. So, you just need four identical ones of this. Okay, once you've finished, and you've got four of these blocks, you can go ahead and set them aside, and then we're going to work on the center block. The center block here is a nine patch. You've got your whites, five of your whites, and you got four of the darker blue. And so we're just going to assemble this row together, this and this together, and then attach them all together. Okay, as you sew your nine piece in the center together, you need to take into consideration the other pieces of the block to make sure that we are nesting all these little pieces together and reducing bulk where we can. So we just simply turn it over. You're going to lay out your pieces to the other sides, the top, and, and these two right now, we're just looking at the top sides here. Um, you're going to have to consider the top and the bottom as well in a minute. But so you look here, and these were full pushed out. So I'm going to push this one in, that out, this in, which then will match up with this. So we nest this block, it is all going to match and make it the bulk not there. So I've gone ahead and pressed them out, and now I'm just going to nest these together, and I'm going to sew these blocks together. And then when I press, I'm again going to take these two pieces here into consideration in how I press open the seams, or press the seams over. Since these are both going out, I'm going to want both of my sides pushing in towards the blue, the dark teal here. Okay, as you can see, I've got the nine patch together. And again, I was taking into consideration the top and the bottom and how I pushed in my seams. So I pushed them inward so that they're going to nest in this block very well. Now, another key point is you need to stop again. Make sure that your block is the correct size. And so this block needs to be the same length as these are on all four sides, which is three and three quarters inch. So you're just going to line up your ruler and you're going to make sure that everything is three and three quarters of an inch. I got a little bit I need to shave off here. And so I put a little off that side, rotated it so I could get to the other side as well, and took a little bit off of that side as well. And then I'm looking at these two sides. And they're way off, so line it up, trim, rotate it around. So now that there should be three quarters there. Oops, that's a lot. So look at your middle of the line, making sure that your block is centered. And then you've got your block. So now you've got five square pieces done um, at the beginning of your quilt block. And so the next one we're going to do are the four corner pieces. And again, they're all identical. They'll just be rotated like we did this here. So piece aside. And so we're going to take all of these here and we're going to lay them out. So you've got white going diagonally, then you've got the darker color on both sides of it, and then you've got the lighter co colors outside of those, and then you've got your white pieces on the corner. And so basically we're going to sew these into four rows, and then press, and again you need to take into consideration the blocks that are going to be on the side of it. So you've got this one of these blocks on one side, and you've got the other block on the other side. So you're going to need to make sure that when this these two blocks will nest, this row here will nest neatly into here, and these will ne nest neatly into here. So take that into consideration as you're going through it, um, because it makes it a lot easier when you go to assemble it than trying to shove a seam sideways so that you can nest to make it easier. Um, it does happen, one of my blocks did that when I was going. My stitching got moved over, but I just flattened it out. Um, but if you can avoid it, that's the best thing to do. Okay, as you stitch your rows together, the four rows, 
you need to double check at this point that you still have your whites going diagonal, darker blues or darker color on the outside, then the lighter, and then your whites on the other side. And like I said, you need to take into account this block is going right here in this corner. So I need to take into account this block here. So I lay them together and that's how I determine how to press. So to nest these two, I need the block, these be pushed towards the white or the outside or inside direction. So push these over and then obviously do every other so that this way when you do assemble these they will just nest right there together and be nice and smooth. So now you're just going to take these rows, fold them over, nest them, do a quarter of an inch seam allowance on both sides, open it up, fold in half, stitch here and do a quarter inch seam allowance. As you can see all my pieces are together. If you look at my chain piecing blog it'll explain how I do that. It just keeps my pieces together so that this one doesn't get flipped over or this turns around that way. It just keeps them together. So once I've got to this point I know unless I have to cut them apart they're all going to stay together. So let me get these sewn together. Okay so as you finish these 16 blocks together you're going to, the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to get your ruler and you're going to need to make sure that it's five and a quarter or five inches by five inches. Put it on, make sure it matches. As long as it matches, you're doing good. Now, before you press, though, you need to not only take into account the one at the bottom. Remember how we had to make sure that our seams would nest here? You also need to make sure that the next block over, next part over, matches as well. So we have to flip all three pieces over. And so now you can see I press these all this direction towards this block because these were going out, so these are going down. Then when you bring this here, now all my blocks, I've got this corner here done, and all the blocks are going to nest together nice and neat. And so, which is what you want it to do. So your next step is going to be that you need to do three more of these blocks. And when you're done with them, each one of them basically is going to rotate this direction. So again, you need to look at your seams, making sure that they nest correctly um, with whichever ones are around it. So as long as they continue to nest, then you should be doing just fine. Um, so you'll cl complete those and we'll do the final assembly. Okay, so you've got four of the blocks that we just completed, the 16. We've got them all laid out the same way so we can put them in, set them out. Then we have four of the initial blocks with all of the seams, if you look, are all nested the same direction. So if you create one, you fold them all the seams the same direction, they will nest together. And I did the same thing on these 16 blocks. Uh, the blocks are all nested the same. I line them up all in the same order. Um, and then put them all into the top corner. Then I laid these down and just rotate them one at a time around. So you've got the four sets of blocks. Put the nine patch in the middle and just line them up. And then just take this block and just rotate it one corner and then rotate it twice to that corner. And then this one you can just rotate it backwards left into that corner counterclockwise making sure that you've got your uh, white dot line going diagonal to diagonal, that you've got everything set up, the dark blues on the outside both ways, and then the light blue on both sides. Just double checking that you've got everything laid out correctly. And now you're going to need to sew them together, and you can do those into three separate rows, um, and just nest in them, and then you'll sew those three rows together and create your block. Okay, here's a good idea or example of making sure when you're laying your blocks that you're getting your blocks in the right order and you're assembling them. And as you look, my line going here stops here. This block has gotten turned a little bit here. So this is a good point to stop before you uh, finalize and put your extra rows together to make sure that this block is right. Making sure that as you're stitching, your seams are nesting together so that when you put these two rows, your seams will nest together here and that they're going to nest together here. And obviously I got this row one flipped around sideways. Okay, now that I got that block 
corner fixed on it. You can see I still got my diagonal here and my diagonal there. As long as your white X is going in the right order, everything should be right. But you got these whites out in the edge. And now we're just going to simply roll this up, sew it there, row this down, press it there. And then once you've done that, you will have completed the triple Irish chain quilting block of the month Facebook groups third block for May. Take the time, make sure that you post it on our Facebook group so that we can all enjoy the different color combinations of everybody's blocks and we look forward to seeing you on the next time.